In this video, you will learn how to delete faces, edges, and vertices. This is something that you're going to be doing a lot during game environment modeling. To properly delete these components, vertices, edges, or faces, you have to know what to do so you don't create more problems in your geometry. Let's go ahead and create a cube. Let's press F to center our view. And I'm going to increase the subdivisions of width, height, and depth to 2. Now we have something to work with. And let's go ahead and enable wireframe unshaded. The simplest and easiest component to delete is faces. Select your object, right click, switch over to faces, and by left clicking on any of the face to select that face, and then press backspace or delete, and this will delete that face. You can also delete multiple faces by selecting one, pressing shift, adding to a selection, and then pressing backspace or delete. Also, you can delete components by positioning the mouse over a component until it's highlighted and then pressing delete. So just by hovering the mouse over without selecting, you can delete components. Let's go ahead and undo to get our cube back. And let's go back to object mode. Deleting edges is a little different. So let's go ahead, select our cube, right click and choose edge component mode. You can left click to select an edge and just like for the face you can hit backspace or delete to remove that edge. The only problem with using backspace or delete to delete edges is that we'll leave a vertice that that edge shared. So you can see that we deleted both of these edges and there's still a vertice right in the middle separating this edge where it should be a continuous edge. So let me undo a couple of times. I'm going to double click on the edge to select a continuous edge loop around the model. And if I hit delete, it will remove and delete that edge. But if we go to vertex, you can see it left a bunch of vertices along those edges. So that's a problem. You don't want to have vertices left behind on edges where you don't need those vertices. So let's go ahead and undo. So to properly delete an edge and shared vertices, select an edge, choose the edge component mode, double click to select continuous edge loop, come up to edit mesh and choose delete edge or vertex. Shortcut is control delete. Now, if we switch over to vertex, we don't have any astray vertices. So let's go switch to edge mode again. And if we're gonna delete two of these edges, I'm gonna hold down shift to add to a selection. Both of these edges are selected and press control delete. And this performs a clean removal of the edge. I'm going to undo again and bring back our original model. Deleting edges could also cause some problems if you attempt to delete an edge that supports the geometry of your object. So if we attempt to delete this edge, if you select these two supporting edges and press Control Delete, this will change your model. But if you select those edges and press Delete, this will cause problems in your object. So Control Delete is going to be your go-to option to properly delete edges and only use delete when you want to leave a floating vertice on that edge. Let's go back to object mode. Deleting vertices is also a little bit different than just simply pressing delete. Let's go ahead and select our object and right click to go to vertex. If you select any vertice and press delete, this will not work. You can only use delete on floating vertices. So let's go ahead and delete our edges right here and we're gonna just press delete. So this way we'll leave that one floating vertice. And now if you have a floating vertice like this, you can use delete to remove that vertice. But if you attempt to delete any vertice that's connected to more than two edges, it won't work. In order for you to delete that vertex, you need to select it, go to edit mesh, and delete edge vertex or control delete just like for edges. Now, of course, a problem would be is if you're trying to delete a vertex that supports your geometry structure. So let's go ahead and undo. Let's go back to vertex. And if we select and want to delete this vertex so we have a clean face without any edges, press control delete. We can do the same thing for this. And for the floated vertex, as you see here, only use delete. But if you attempt to delete anything on the edge where that vertex supports the structure of the object, 
by pressing Control Delete, this will cause a lot of problems in your model. So only use Delete on floating vertices that are along an edge and use Control Delete on vertices that are connected with more than two edges. Let's go ahead undo and bring back our object. So as a quick overview, to select faces, go to component mode, select face, left click to select a face, press delete, or select a face and press backspace. You can left click, press shift to add to selection and delete multiple faces, or you can also press control to remove from a selection. Also, if you don't left click, but inside the component mode, just hover over a face until you see the right highlight and you can press delete without selecting that face. This will also delete that face. Let's switch over to edge. Left click to select an edge. If you press delete on an edge, this will remove an edge, but will leave a vertice behind. In order to correctly delete an edge without having a floating vertice, select the edge and press control delete. This will not leave a floating vertice on an edge. To delete vertices, select it. And if it's a floating vertice that is not connected to any edges, except for the edge that it's on, press delete. It will remove that vertice. If you try to delete a vertice that's connected by more than two edges, it will not work. But if you control delete that vertex, it will remove that vertice and the surrounding edges that that vertex was connected to. Be careful doing that on vertices that support the structure of your object. So let's go ahead and select this vertice. And since it has two or more edges connected to it, Control Delete will remove the edges and that vertice. So knowing how to correctly delete faces, edges, and vertices is going to help you working with objects properly. In the next video, we're going to cover Custom Polygon Display, which is going to help you to display and view objects for better game environment modeling.